Shanez Richardson is the founder and the creator of State of the Black Planet. I want to thank you for joining us tonight to tell us more about State of the Black Parent. Um, can you start off by telling me more about who Shanez Richardson is? Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm, uh, I believe a regular everyday people like the Arrested Development Zone. Um, you know, I've majored in human services. I've worked in various uh, government contracts of various departments, you know, that serve the people across uh, across the nation. Um, I, I've worked all, you know, I've, I've worked, I, I've lived, I came from various situations to very much understand what it's like uh, surviving in this society as a black person. Saying as a black parent, um, it was, okay, the interests are in three areas. They're very broad of the million of dilemmas that we have within our community. Um, very much, you know, the co cover the three areas of education, uh, economics, and enterprise. Um, very much uh, those are three that we're primarily focused on. This is a grand premiere and uh, independent grassroots uh, event that we're get going. And, you know, we're, we're starting at the beginning of it. Uh, exactly how was it created? Uh, exactly. It, it went through a various process and, and uh, steps, you know, working on projects with Black Parent Connect HBCU kids and um, Maurice Muhammad. The first mission is to remove barriers of the black family. Can you kind of elaborate on that a little bit? Uh, yeah, the, the website is State of the Black Parent. <laughs> um, Did I say Black Parent again? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I apologize. Ah uh, yes. Um, well, we would like to offer uh, very much, you know, networking, coming together, offering layman solutions, resources, referrals to better managing our situations, goals, advancements in our families and our communities. Because a lot of things we may have available to us, but if we don't understand the process of exactly what's behind the process and who we're dealing with, we're still back at, you know, a catch-22. You know what, I, I don't mean to interrupt you, but I agree with that from working in social services myself for almost 20 years. We have so many resources out here, and also with the Internet now, we have so much information available to us. But the thing is, and, and I can only speak for the community I'm in, that a lot of times we, we, we have no idea of what's out there. We, just, we don't know the questions to ask, and then we just don't know it's there. And I see with that, you know, so you, you're mentioning resources. So is that one thing that you do offer? You're letting the community know what things are available to them so that they can, you know, um, improve on their well-being and other things because you talk about economics, um, education, and enterprise. Yes, definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, very much, you know, we definitely, you know, there's a lot of, uh, you know, of organizations run by our people that, don't have the advertising wheel, uh, you know, there, you know, there's just so many, you know, so this is the opportunity we're open to connect to them, to have them available at this event, to be available there for our community. Okay, and another thing, I see that your organization, it emphasizes on education and economics. Why do you think that this is so important for us? Okay, we need education to have diverse understanding of what is going on in the world. We need economics to benefit from our education and our community, which can have us more active um, on legislation instead of, you know, us just waiting until the executive and judicial repercussions and like, oh, well, how could this happen and why did this happen? Mm -hmm. So we're more active on the front end, and with education and economics, you know, we, you know what I'm saying, we start at the legislature's part. And they, that's going to first start with us having education and economics. Place on your heart and on your spirit to do? It, it was various steps. It first started off with, you know, reading a news article, and, and then later on, a few months later, I actually had a dream about 
uh, children, you know, dressed in occupations. And I was like, wow. And, and you know, I, 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 I was like, okay, well, that's a, you know, really fun study on it. She had dreamed to see if this has occurred anywhere across the world or nation. And I, I haven't came across anything from all my research and speaking to other people that have ever heard of it. And I have people say, they come tell me, I never heard of anything like that. And, uh, you know, and then very much, you know, I'm a, a fan of State of the Black Parents, uh, I mean, State of the Black Union. Uh, and I was like, okay, I, I want to have a round table discussion. I was like, ooh. And I was like, that, that's just going to be a lot. Of, you know, I just didn't, didn't, I was like, okay, who am I going to do this here with? And, you know, working with Black Parent Connect HBCU kids with various previous presidents, I was like, oh, okay, this is, you know, she's the perfect person, you know, to work with her organization. Our number that they can uh, contact us on, uh, State of the Black Parent, is uh, one moment is nine five four three zero two four five four zero extension seven one one. Okay, you all got all of that. All the information that Ms. Richardson gave us is going to be available um, through her website, and also it will be posted um, on YouTube and also at the phoenixunleashed.com. So you can look into this. You can contribute, as she stated, if you're interested in being on the panel. You can. This is a good way, if you're in the area, to give back. Also, what, where is this going to uh, take place at? Oh, it will be in Philadelphia, summer 2014. Okay, so people, if you're in the area, if you can make it, I really strongly suggest that you check out stateoftheblackparent.org. Um, Shanez, I'd like to thank you for taking time out to come with us at the Phoenix Dialogues with the Phoenix Unleashed, and um, we'll be speaking again with you soon, I'm sure. We're going to keep in contact so we can know more what's going on with the stateoftheblackparent.org. And thank you, and we'll um, get with you later. Have a good one. You too. Okay.